the row and they type design just uh I wanted to show you a little design here that I worked on. Um, I had this tower door that I bought at Home Depot. Uh, you know, it's a two doors that slide, and they're held in the uh, with a bracket in the middle um, that you know comes with the door assembly. It's got like a little um, small double-sided tape that they use to secure it to the floor, and you know, lets the two doors slide through it. Um, you know, it worked fine for many many months, but over time, you know, the water. Um, you know, starts to degrade the adhesive on the double-sided tape, so it kept coming loose. So I kept buying double-sided tape, to, you know, waterproof. See if I can put it back on there. You know, it worked for a while, but after a while, you know, it keeps you know, breaking loose again, um, and it doesn't feel too safe because you know when it breaks, it breaks loose the adhesive. Then that bracket just allows the door to just slide inward into the shower and just kind of um, you know link into the um, shower area, and it just doesn't feel safe. So I said, you know. I got a 3D printer, let me see if I can make a part that will be a, a little bit better, you know, same design, but just a little feature on, on the end that can kind of go over the um, that lower rail on the bottom of the shower, uh, aluminum rail that comes with it. Um, so this 3D printed part, you know, slides over it, and therefore if it does, adhesive does break loose on the bottom, that door will never fling, you know, slide, uh, be able to move um, into the shower because it's going to be held by the bracket which is being uh, stopped by the, the suture in the bracket that doesn't let the, you know, the door slide in, inward into the um, shower. So um, uh, it took about, to 3D print this, it was about, I think, one hour. Um, it wasn't too hard, it was just you kind of copy the old design using calipers and just add a feature on the end to grab onto the outside of the rail there and then put the double-sided adhesive on there. It is kind of tricky to put the adhesive on there. Um, gotta get a thin one because as it slides through, you know, it's kind of hard to slide through because the adhesive is already on there and doesn't really slide easily. You know, but besides that, it seems to be working fine. Anyways, just wanted to um, you know, share this with you.